Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're going to look at verses 9 and 10 today in chapter 11. Let's see what we have here. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Now, I want you to know something. It's very definitely true. Every promise of God has conditions. Every promise of God has conditions. So Jesus, when he says, ask and it will be given to you, there's a condition going on here that when I think there might be more than one, right? The obvious condition in the text is you must actually ask. God wants you to ask. It's good emotionally uh, for you to ask. But there are other conditions in the scriptures that are not in the text, but are also implicit conditions. Some, the text will have explicit conditions, conditions that are obvious right on the face, prima facie. Uh, yeah, that's that's a clear condition. But there are other conditions too. Uh, in, in James chapter 4, it talks about humbling yourself in God's sight, in resisting the devil, and the devil's going to flee from you, but you, you have to meet the conditions and before God's promise is, you know, validated for you. So when we have these things, ask, seek, knock, those are particular, some of those are kind of metaphors, right? Be persistent in seeking, but it also is telling us, uh, find out anything that could get in the way, find out anything that could be an issue, uh, and follow that counsel, fulfill the conditions of answered prayer, have the right spirit, uh, be finding what the conditions are, both the stated conditions and the, the conditions that aren't stated in that text. But if we follow out those conditions, those are there because those bring us into a situation where God can give to us. So let us follow the conditions, not just because God has got a list and he's trying to weed out the, the, the non-persistent, but because those conditions which are obvious and those conditions which might not be obvious in every single text are all very important so that we can have a spirit that's able and ready to receive from God. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, we are asking that you will uh, help us when we pray, when we ask, when we seek, when we knock. We know there's a promise here that you will answer, but we know that promise, as all of your promises, also are have conditions in them. Help us to be diligent about wanting so much to be right so that there's nothing in the way and we're ready to receive your answers and helps. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Oh, friend, may, may the Lord's guidance on prayer be, be very important to us as we continue to seek him. God's blessings be with you today.